are barely even lukewarm! I was honestly expecting more from you! The temperature of my burning firefighter's soul is a million and ten times! <laughs> I'll show you my burning firefighter soul! Is it that much of a surprise? All humans die eventually. We feed the flames until the day we burn out. That certainty is a blessing. We can hear them. We can hear the cries of their anguish. Let me burn harder. Burn stronger. I want to blaze hotter. The flames are alive. They call to us, and to answer their cries is the destiny of the burnish. But we don't kill people. When the Mad Burnish attack a city, we always provide an escape route. And we take great pride in that. Wow, you do have a deep side. Who'd have thought? Know what? I think I understand how you feel. It's the same for me. No one ever thinks of me as just Ina. I've always been Ellis's younger sister. She was the smart one ever since we were little. They called her a child prodigy. But you know what? I'm actually proud. I'm proud to be Alice Artibit's sister. My sister is the cornerstone of Foresight Labs. Bad news, Captain. Those guys are mad burnish. Affirmative. Most of them were captured, but their leader and two of the top generals are still at large. It's a mutation. Uh, it says nothing about your character. What matters is how you use it. Like Varus with his superhuman strength. Huh, looks like warp engines. But they still have a long way to go. Uh, I hope you don't think we're gonna be splitting the bill. The last time anyone saw him, he was on his way to see the governor. It's not like Gallo to miss a shift. I wish you and Gallo would stop wasting all this time on your personal projects. <laughs> Emergency, right. Stay away! Boss! It's okay. Barris saw the scene! It's full of furnished flares in here! I don't know how you got so full of yourself, kid, but you're still just a rookie. So can't you make money with your inventions? You think we'll ever see something like that in our lifetime? It's been a week already. It's the idiot superpower. Where's Ina? Yeah, I couldn't have said it better myself, Pops. He saved your life or something, right? Oh, thanks to that rescue, everyone knew who he was. And that's how his research on fireproof materials gained attention. Before you knew it, he was a billionaire. Now he's the chairman of the Foresight Foundation and the city governor. <sighs> Talk about a meteoric rise, right? Inventions that make money are nothing but heresy. You know, your older sister's one, too. Rescue Mobile, on the scene and ready. Ina, what's the story up there? Quit screwing around. We're launching you and your rescue gear to the 108th floor. Inferno terrorists? Gallo, listen up. Don't underestimate him. He's the root of all Burnish crime, and the world's been hunting him for 30 years. He's the leader of Mad Burnish. The rescue gear you're wearing wasn't designed for this. Wait for backup. This is bad. His rescue gear's too heavy to keep up with those bikes. It's freeze force. Colonel Vulcan. Hold it. We're authorized to deal with the Burnish in a fire emergency. That exception gives us jurisdiction. I'll note that in my report. So is you? You're the one who caught this guy? You're under arrest, firefighter! The law explicitly forbids civilians from dealing with terrorists! Your lack of training could have caused a major disaster! I'm afraid I can't overlook your reckless action! Stop. You'll be free to plead your case in court! By the way, I knew you'd let yourself be captured so you could free the prisoners. You actually thought you'd outsmarted us, didn't you? We saw you coming from a mile away! Not today! You ended up gathering all the furnish together for us to pick up. How considerate! Let me show you my gratitude. I'm sure you're not the kind of guy who'd attack an unarmed person. I know always said you were honest, but maybe too blunt for your own good. Here, you should eat something. It'll be your last supper. What I tell Ina is none of your business. It's because if it'd guarantee Ina's survival, I'm prepared to do anything. Ina, I need you to calm down. I saw it happen with my own eyes. He really did try to assault the governor. Listen to me, Ina. You need to start thinking about yourself now. I'm going to contact you soon. Come straight here as soon as you get that call. 
Can you do that? I love you, Aina. Why did they do this? Flame covered hair and this guy an idiot. He's too fast! He told you to wait! You get back here! Look at him. You got it. Yeah, yeah, I know. Come on, we're breaking all of you out of here. Oh, you mean the freezing rings? Breaking out of those was a piece of cake for the boss. Let's move! This is for the boss! The boss's flames are invincible! Definitely an idiot. Yeah! Boss. My god. That's much better. Come on, we're breaking all of you out of here. Boss, the truck is ready. There's room for everyone. Bastard! And this is for the settlement! Forget about us! The furnishes play won't fade as long as you live! No! We did it! Freeze Force has already been deployed. Yes, sir. We'll start contacting selected citizens in accordance to the simulations. All of the passengers are already on board. All systems check, ready for departure. Fire freezing missile! That thing's showing an extremely powerful burnish signal. According to these readings, it's more pure than the Promotech engine. You got it. Yeah, he's very good at what he does. Here you go, and jump. Saw you on TV, Gallo. Nice job out there. Yeah, those terrorist guys were a real pain in the neck, you know? What is it they were called, the Mad Burnish? What a relief to know their boss is finally in jail. Yep. I'm sure some of those Burnish guys are pretty decent. And the discrimination is just because those terrorists give them a bad name. It's better not to fight them. You'll only end up with your limbs frozen solid. Mad Burnish was our only hope for ages, and now you've been captured too. But how did you... Watch your back, Leo. No. You're the fool! We don't stand a chance against the Foundation! Thirty years ago, a distortion of space-time linked Earth's core to the Promare universe. Some humans resonate with the Promare, and thus can use their power at will. That is correct. Harnessing the Promare's interdimensional energy, it is indeed possible to achieve teleportation. But the nerve signals of a Burnish are linked to the Promare they've synced with. The Promare feel the Burnish's pain. If these incomplete Promatech pods cause a large number of Burnish great pain, the Promare in Earth's core will spiral out of control destroying the planet. That is where the space-time rupture is, and that is where the Promare live. Galo Timos, Leo Fotia, I want you to stop Cray Foresight. I had my first burnish spasm when I was a student. I was trying to hold back the flames, but I couldn't. No, it was a complete accident. But it was a good opportunity to build my reputation. I had you placed in Burning Rescue because it was the job with the highest mortality rate. I wanted to be rid of you, but you kept surviving, and you kept coming back! My life has always gone according to plan, except when it comes to you! You're not just an idiot, you're a cancer! But this is the end for you!